Welcome back to Enshrouded, everyone. In the last video, I built this awesome, cozy little forest hobbit house behind me, so be sure to check that out if you haven't already. And that will be my base for all of our future adventures. And I'm joined by Crimson again today to do some fun adventures. So the plan first is to show you all where I unlocked the rough cut stone block that I used in this build, because Crimson hasn't unlocked it yet, so we'll head over there. And then after that, we're going to head to the test of skill quest right up here. And that is on the way to the quest where we'll get the table saw for the carpenter. And we should be unlocking some cool stuff from that. So whenever you're ready, Crimson, um, we can probably, yeah, we can just teleport up to my home level four on top of the big hill there where I'm doing uh, some of the building on live streams here soon. And then glide down to the spot for rough cut stone. So it's right, uh, that bridge right over there, where we've been. That's the, right. that's the spot. Ooh, nice, you have the earth oil. I do. It's oh, very yeah. nice. Yeah, for the healing and stuff. So yeah, it's down by this bridge. There's that ancient obelisk for a story of rot quest. And someone in the comments told me how to unlock the rough cut stone. It was this little, uh, building right below that obelisk that I totally missed before. And uh, I'm oh, super nice. glad I, f I uh, unlocked that because that Hobbit house definitely used a lot of it, so. Uh, so yeah, it's right down here. There's a little passage to read uh, down at the bottom. And then there Save is it. the, uh, yeah, and then there's the actual uh, little thing to search right up there. Oh, nice. Yeah. And nice. I think that probably did that complete, complete the quest for you because I think the passage at the bottom... Somewhere over here. It said, uh, yeah, when you read it, it, it starts quest the quest. Updated. Okay, okay. Oh, it's... A, there's a thing at the very bottom here. Yeah. That's, like, pinned to the wall. Ah, yeah, this was the one to read. So when you read this one, it uh, activates the quest for you. And then you do the little search thing, and then it should uh, it should complete. But I think, I think you completed it if you don't have that quest in your journal anymore. Wait, it was a, a quest of rot or something? Or uh, I think a story of rot was a different okay. one. I think this one was. What was the quest for that? It was essentially just getting the rough cut stone. It's uh, the ruined Narathon quest. Have you? Is that have a check mark uh, next to completed or? Well, it's not in any of the quests I can do right now. So okay. I'm gonna assume cool. I completed it. Yep, you probably did then, even if you. If even if you got the rough cut stone before reading the, the little journal there. Awesome. Then with that, we can uh, head back to the Hobbit house. And just go back to the top of this building to be able to teleport right over there. And then head right up to the test of skill. The hunter shared a location of her hidden hunting grounds with you. Investigate the area to see what lies there. So that's what we're after now. And I think, let's see, is it in the... Oh, well, not in the shroud. I think we might be able to get to it from here. Yeah, the updraft thing is so fun. I figure you can just do the little cancellation while you're flying, be able to do it more with the little ring of rapacity. <laughs> I can almost properly fly at this point. Yeah, it's, it's very, so much very fun. Silly. <laughs> and we are headed. It looks like there's a yeah, there's a town over here of some kind that uh, we haven't really been to yet. I don't know if this has anything to do with it, or if this is just a little location that we explore along the way. Fort, Fort Kelvin. Kelvin. Yeah, Fort Kelvin. Alright, well, let's explore this place. It looks like another large, lot of poster board area. Ah, and we've got the, the VUCA over here. Yeah, that jump attack is awesome. <laughs> it's a little bit strong. Yeah. Oh, don't forget to hit the thing over here, in case you die. Oh, yeah, the return beacon. Good call. Yeah, I find that the fire wand tends to do really well against uh, all the animals and things. Alright, looks like we're oh, safe enough to read. Sense. Did you read? Right. What does this one say? Welcome to Fort Kelvin, weary traveler. Fort Kelvin is the last stronghold of peace and a place for all survivors. The shroud is the enemy of all in Embervale, and the elixir wars have laid waste to lands far and near. Please see Jake's in the market for a rotation of 
nourishing stew, as well as warm, dry cot where you can rest. Nice, okay. So just a little welcome sign there. Looks like that was that little poster board. Uh, I saw I'm gonna, enemies over Yeah, here. I saw one of the VUCA shamans over there, whatever. Uh, there's a there's chest and some other stuff least, over here. There's at least two over here. Okay. Another tip that uh, someone was sharing in my Discord, I think uh, someone posted about it on Reddit as well, was uh, that the barrels or the pots with lids on them are the ones with loot. So any of these hollow ones don't have loot in them. But if they have a top to them, they do. So that's another helpful tip. Interesting. All right, well, let's see what's over here. A lot of VUCA. Ooh, that one did like a poison. Look at that. Oh, that's my necromancer skill. Check that out, Crimson. Oh, nice. My necromancer skill. So the necromancer, which I put a skill point toward, summons in a little skeleton. It has a 10% chance to do this. That is hilarious. That is so cool. All right, I kind of like that skill. <laughs> it's not dying yet. That's a really cool, that's a really cool little thing. I wonder how long it'll last for. If it'll just kind of stay in like the area. Yeah, it looks like it because it's not really egg growing. It's just staying right there in that area. Well, that's pretty cool though. There's I might, my little skeleton on, friend. Let me, <laughs> don't, don't, oh, it, it is egg growing. Oh, it is coming over there. Oh, look at that. That is so funny. It actually does a fair amount of damage too for what it is, I guess. It's more than like my little fire aura damage. <laughs> that's, that's really cool. It looks like it's despawned now. I don't see it anymore. So yeah, it only lasts for a certain duration and then it, uh... Then it can come again after that. That's pretty cool, though. There's that little house. It looks like we have... Ah, oh, just more mice over here. Oh, My little skeleton came back again. It's nice. too late now. I, I already got the mice little guy. Alright, anyone in the comments, uh, think of a name for the little skeleton friend. <laughs> See, bones. Just bones. <laughs> With the just as as his first name and bones as last name. Just bones. It's it's just bones. <laughs> yeah, I kinda like that. Like is that that yeah, that's all it is. Poison bones. <laughs> Got this house though that we still have to get up into. Smash all the pottery. <laughs> Everything. Yeah, like this one. That had a lid, and there you go. There's stuff in it. Animal fur. That is definitely, uh... Ooh. What do we have there? Ooh, a crackling wand at 23 damage. That's the fire. I don't know what yours is at. Uh, um, I have... I think you already had one see. that was there, though. I have an infernal wand that does 28 damage. Okay, so. that's definitely better, then. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just kind of be on the lookout for more passages, more chests, stuff like that. There's more VUCA over here in a big tower that we uh, haven't been to yet. Oh. Oh. Nope. You definitely take falling damage from the... <laughs> from the jump attack. All right, yes. well, that's good to know. So, uh, there's your death for today. <laughs> At least it wasn't a shroud. Yeah, that's true. Not the deadly shroud. Oh, you missed a good chest over here. Where? With uh, Shepherd's Lightning that does 23 damage. Ooh, okay. And a legendary Misfortune Mace. Nice. That does 34 damage. 34? That's actually really good. Yeah, take that one, because, uh... Ah, under the tunnel. Good find. It was behind a bunch of bushes. Yeah, because, uh, I think the... Misfortune Mace I had right now was like 20 something damage, but not over 30 for the legendary. And legendary being over 30 to start with is pretty good, actually. Yeah, I mean, it is a two handed weapon, so. It is, it is. There's definitely that part of things, but with the timing Take and stuff, it, it can be pretty salt. good. Yeah. Shroud survival flasks over here. More of these barrels, like that one's got a cap on it, and yep, it's got, got fur in there. That one's got a lid on it. 
Ooh, dried fur. Okay. And then we've got another... Another area up here. Alright. This is, uh... It's a new type of building block here that we'll probably be unlocking a lot later, but... This place is interesting. Just a big tower. Ah, a passage at the top. Here we go. And we're not even at the top yet. What is this one? The Earth Quakes. Reports from beneath Fort Kelvin are true. Creatures unseen burrow here and have become a threat to our survival. They dig upward, shaking the ground. Do we abandon our post for the shrouded wilds outside our walls? Or stand and fight the creatures coming from below? We must keep this place safe. After all, Fort Kelvin is our last retreat. All right, interesting. There's a lot of last retreats. Yep. Retreats in this it's world. A lot of this, a lot of this lore that we're finding is basically all the all the depressing stuff of people finding the uh, yeah finding stuff and then ending up dying because the shroud and everything consumes it. That was just yep. a bow that was not super great, and a little hatchet. Where was the hatchet here? There it is. 23 damage, actually. Hatchet's not bad. For a, uh, uncommon. Hmm. Alright, so uh, I guess with this village, I think that's mostly, mostly lots of stuff. The quest, a test of skill, looks like it's up this path here. Uh, so we can head up here. There's another, another little VUCA spot over here. Yep. Put a few of them over here. And the bees are happy again. Hey, there's my little skeleton friend. Oh no! The bees killed my skeleton friend. Or no. Never mind. Okay, he just kind of teleported from over here to over there. It's hard to tell... Uh, if he's alive, because the poison splashes that he shoots, uh, kind of look like... Kind of look like just bones, and so it's hard to tell which is which. <laughs> I was running so fast that the trap right here triggered after I was on the oh, other side. That's funny. It was funny. very funny. Another lore in here. Nice. The VUCA. Any soul finds this, take heed. Fort Kelvin has... Succumb to the VUCA. That was that must have been the creature that buried that burrowed underground from the last one there. Uh that's why they're always in caves and stuff. We fought bravely, but the beast proved too powerful. They have an aura of unearthly strength. If you must face them, I implore you to seek out the source of their otherworldly might. The statue where they make a sacrifice to their wretched gods, where it will be enough to turn the tide, I cannot say. Well, interesting. Okay. That's the VUCA. Alright, it looks like we continue onward. I'm curious, though, to see if there's anything under these these gravestones. The blacksmith keeps saying stuff about... Or no, the carpenter. carpenter was the one that kept saying stuff about grave robbing. And, uh... I wonder if the if the devs hid it, hide anything under these. Doesn't look like... Doesn't look like these ones. But, I'm sure some of them might. Ah, here's another, uh, Vukar. The blessing that gives you, uh, power and stuff. Oh, nice. You wanna take that? It looks like... Looks like Wait. where we're headed might be close to the shroud down there. Yeah, go ahead and take it. Doesn't do sure. anything bad, I don't think. No. And then we go in this way, it looks like. Yeah, we're getting close in this area. There's more copper. Ooh, this is a good spot for copper, actually. Is it this cave? Mm, I think it's over. There's cave passage where here. I am. Okay. Yeah, there's a cave passage there though with some uh, VUCA, So. No, it's where I am. Gotcha. I just got the location reached. Nice. Okay. Oh, there's a big glowing pillar. Nice. Ah, okay. This has got to be it, then. For the Hunter's Hunting Ground. This is kind of a cool little place nestled in the rocks here. Alright, our sanctum amidst the hollow, blinded from within. Crude lifeblood is extracted. 
diluted and alchemized, transformed, transfigured, molten and born anew, profound power fueling the bodies of the youngest in Embervale, rotting them. We failed, blinded by our stoicism. Let us point our gaze back toward the sky, for this hollowed core cannot be saved. Okay, so uh, to complete the test of skill, you need to go shoot a deer or kill a ah. deer. There's one over there. So yeah, there. In journal, let's see, where does, where is it now? Okay, gotcha, because yeah, you just completed it from activating it. Okay, cool. I don't know if you have to do I think it completed kill. it for me as well. But either way, here's a range kill of this rabbit here. Yeah, I think you completed it because I have a, uh... I don't think I see it anymore. Yep, that's it. Now it's just a table saw for the carpenter, which is the next one. Cool, okay. So a little hunting quest there completed on our way. And now we can head toward the table saw location. So this has got to be a table saw location. Whatever yes. this big village is. So I guess we'll have to see see what we have over here. Thornholds, nice. here we go. Oh, and of course I just got held in the thorns as well, just as I said that. <laughs> Too nice. New quest, table saw for the carpenter. Ooh, we've got oh. more of these more of these poison guys that don't take damage very much. Ouch. Okay. Yep, yep. I'm I'm gonna have to use my Ouch! Ah! Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm about dead. Uh, eat a little Oops. berry. And is there a return beacon anywhere on the outskirts here? I'm trying uh, to look for one of those. I'm gonna bring my health potions. Try and find one. Yep, there's a health potion. Okay. Yeah, if, if we get this guy, it will be okay. We just gotta get... Yeah, the big guys with the big green poison blades are... They're kind of tough. Man, I'm like not timing my parries just right. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Man, there's a lot of wolves and stuff over here. Yeah, there's more over here too. I'm getting getting a fair amount of experience from all this. <laughs> Nice, alright. Oops. So the quest was updated. Uh, what does the journal say now about a table saw for the carpenter? We have Thorn Thornall has fallen to the scavengers. The town has been looted, and there are no circular saw blades to be found. Perhaps there are clues nearby. Oh, you're getting kind of uh, low on health. I am. Oh my God. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> nice, the blink just saved you there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> too late now. Oh, gosh. Okay. Yeah, I feel like rolling and stuff is the best thing to do with these ones. There we go. There we go. The ice bolts, uh... Yeah, the acid cleaver here. 26 damage. These things, uh... Are, are a nice weapon, that's for sure. Do you have a flame altar? Um, actually, yeah. Are there... Yep, only 5 out of 6 active. Let me go ahead and, uh... Delete something on my backpack. Oh, I've gotta gotta deal with some stuff. There we go. Alright. Yeah, yep, I just just alerted a bunch of wolves again. These will be fine. Okay. There we go. I'll place a flame altar down. Yeah, I guess uh Crimson with the flame altar there, when you get your body, we may as well just uh teleport back and sleep the night and then continue this in the daytime. It is back to being day now, and we're just going to continue searching this area. And then the quest now says investigate the roads outside of Thornhold, or around Thornhold. So we'll just kind of loot this place, see if there's any more passages, and then continue searching for stuff. Oops. This is kind of cool. I like the little, uh, the little watchtower, or like, wall here. The stakes and the little... Areas to kind of stand and look out. You could t turn this, uh, do a renovation of this camp, too. Turn it into a pretty cool base. 
Yeah, this place is super cool. All the little grapple points, little lookouts, a little glider platform up here. This is a neat spot in the forest, actually. Ooh, quest updated for the carpenter. Did you find something on the on the road over here? Um, no, I just punched a guy. Oh, interesting. Yeah, because now it says, find the circular saw blades in the scavenger camp. Uh, ah! So it, uh, it updated and we gotta go, we gotta go this way for a while. I'm guessing maybe on this road over here? Yeah, this looks right. Toward wherever this scavenger camp is. Ooh, this looks like a big place. Fawn Song Frontier. Interesting. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be a <laughs> tough fight. Another big battle. Alright, let's get prepared. I've got the flame altar down there. Um, yeah, these guys these guys hate the ice if you have your ice wand. Uh, uh, right now I've got the fireballs equipped, so I guess I'll just use them up, but... Yeah, he doesn't like the staff. <laughs> He's still going after you. Alright, yeah. uh, here we go. Ooh. There we go. Yeah. And it's just one more shot. There he's done. Nice, nice. That one have another knife on it? No. Okay. So we've got that. We've got grapple points up here. Um, something to climb here. Because there's another big scavenger camp. Whoa, okay. <laughs> oh, that worked. Um... Yeah, we gotta be on the lookout for... Hey, there's more, more like, dudes. More of them down there? Oh no, you died again. Okay. They, Something's they stumbled shooting at me. me. Oh no. I'm gonna- I'm gonna stay up here and try to... Ooh, that was actually really good. Just try to stay up here and get some of these guys out. With the magic. Oh gosh, okay. And I got knocked off by... Okay. Let's try this. Okay. This, I think, is gonna work. I see some pretty serious damage numbers in the distance. Yep, uh, that's, that's me trying to take care of... More of the green blade guys. Ooh, this one's at 29 damage, the acid cleaver. Nice. Interesting, okay. Alright, just lots more chests. Lots more usual stuff that we can find with the scavengers here. Let's continue onward. Ah, we've got something over there that we can search. Let's take care of these guys. That might be the saw blades, if it was saying, uh, find the saw blades in the carpenter camp, or in the scavenger camp. Nice. Yeah, this has got to be it. Let me, uh, take care of the rest of these guys first. Oh. oh gosh, okay, okay. I'm gonna have to, uh, try to get another more health potions here. There we go. There it is. Hey, just bones spawned in again. <laughs> just a he little too late. He always gets late. these always too late. Yeah. Just a little too late. <laughs> Lazy lion in his grave. There we go. The circular saw blades. That Lazy black bones smith. over nice. there. Yep. Lazy bones. That's a good. That's a good name. That's a really good name. You want an archer chest plate? An archer chest plate. Absolutely. Yeah, that would be a cool... I'll take uh... that wand. Ooh, 44... Oh yeah, this looks really, really good. Let me... Delete something and grab it. Wood planks at the table saw. There we go. And that's what we needed for our better chests and all that other good stuff. So we'll be able to go back there. I want to explore... Oh gosh. I want to explore the rest of this area though. Because we've got a lot of, a lot of cool stuff over here. What's over here? This is this is a quite oh another uh, scavenger oh. matron. Oh boy. Okay. All, these guys. All right. 
Another big fight. Today is an episode of some crazy... Crazy fighting and more quests and everything. I wonder what the range is on this thing for shooting the poison. Don't forget these guys uh, explode when they die. Yep, that's right. Maybe this will be the first time I don't die from one of these. Oh gosh, oh. it's like spawning in a bunch of wolves there. Interesting. My uh, weapons are also not looking so good on health here. Okay. Yep, just uh, I've got my health potions in, in hand here. Oh, no! Got uh oh! Oh! Here in the shroud again? Yeah. Ah. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna keep icing this one. You could from a distance. I think this is gonna work. Yeah. Yep, because the staff has a long range here. Oh, never mind. It figured out how to climb up the stairs. Okay, ah! Well, it, it blows a horn, and that's what spawns in the wolf companions. This one's a little bit. This one's a little tougher here. Ooh, yay! There we go. Lazy Bones finally, finally showed up. And died. <laughs> <laughs> died to his own poison. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh gosh. Hey, at least the ice is effective. It is. It's actually doing quite a lot against this. There it is. There it is. All right. There's just that wolf. What did this one drop? Metal scraps. Another head. Another mace. Ooh, a frozen core one. That's actually pretty decent. Let's see. That's a good frozen core wand. I like that. All right. What do we have over in this area? Any more of the hidden chests and things? Oftentimes, like last time there was a legendary chest over by the matron. There's probably something over in this in this area. There's another chest. Exploding power ball and another one of those scrolls and stuff. Man, we've got so much. I, uh, I can't decide what to get rid of. We just Oops. keep eating things. There we go. Prayer of the Flame Scroll. At some Ooh. point, I got a Fireball too, so that's fine. Oh, nice. Okay. Wow. Like cranes and grapply stuff. This is a this is a weird place. It's kind of cool. All right. Big tower here. We're probably missing stuff. We'll have to kind of uh, spend a little more time in this location because it's a big one. Yeah. Uh, and then, kind of keep you guys posted if we find anything. Ooh, I think just it a, might just be a really tall tower. A big lookout. Oh, there's another grappling point up here. Ah, and here's the gold chest. What do we have in here? Holy! Oh, that's, that's some thing. An executioner's axe, and what is this bow? Oh, it's, it's only 15 power, so it's actually not as good as any of the bows I have, even at legendary, I think, but... What is it? Only only point second six seconds draw speed though, which is pretty good. Yeah, it looks this pretty freaking rare, cool. This is a rare executioner's axe with forty three damage on Dang. it. Dang. Okay. That's uh, that's actually that's actually insane. All right, the, these ones are worth it. We should uh keep note of that chest being here. We could farm uh, farm some good loot through that one. That was pretty good. All right, I'm gonna go back down and see if uh. See if there's anything else down here. There was this side to the tower that we never explored. There's a little chest right down in here. Ooh, city wall block. Yes, let's go. That's a new type of block. Go and delete this. General building material, neglected building material, which often used. So that's gotta be like this, this type of block. Recipe unlocked at the workbench, yay. Yeah, as a builder, I'm always pretty stoked to unlock new blocks. So yeah, uh, Crimson, for you to unlock it, it's this little silver chest hidden back here. I think I got it. You did? Okay, cool. Cool. Oh, was there another Was there another chest that it had it in there? Somewhere else? No, it just updated for Ah, me. okay, perfect. Not so sure. it unlocked the recipe. I guess you were probably close enough to me that it worked. That's yeah. cool. Alright. Very nice. Well, that was definitely worth uh, coming down the backside for. Well, anything down this way? There's like another little... Ah! Another hidden chest down in here. Elder Staff and another Hunter Bow. Oh, the Elder Staff maybe. The Hunter Bow at 21 versus 24. Yeah, I'll go ahead and salvage that. It's pretty good though. Anything over here? Ah! 
Another little area. Man, this is a cool spot. I gotta say, if we took over like a camp, this is uh, this is one of my favorites so far. I love how that tower is like up and over the shroud and stuff. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Yeah. It's a, it's a nice launch point. Absolutely, yeah. Man, if you could get onto those blue mountains over there, I guess they're grayish, but... Yeah, yeah, they're out of the... Those will be... They're probably gonna do, like, a big mountain biome as another as another biome that they're adding because those are uh, currently outside of the boundary of our uh, early access so far. But that'll be yeah. really exciting to see what they do with that biome. Let's, uh, let's get that table saw made and get some planks going, and then we can, uh, start getting all our storage into this new base over here. From, uh, from the little starter house. Because, yeah, like I said, yeah. I'd love to line the entire back wall of this basement here with a bunch of chests. And, uh, I think we'll unlock the medium chest here. Yeah, circular saw blades of highest quality. You brought back some circular saw blades, huh? Scavengers gave you trouble? So Thornhold didn't hold. <laughs> a shame. Well, let's craft that table saw in their honor. Put it where I can see it. All right. And with that, we'll be able to unlock if we go into a storage here. Let's see, where was that storage? Yeah, the medium magic chest. We needed the medium chest, and that required the planks for, that we needed the table saw. So let's go to the blacksmith and make a bunch of nails with all the metal scraps we got. I have a few nails. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I'll try to, uh, I think I needed like 10 or something. There we go, right. this will be enough. And, uh... Then I can go ahead and make that. There we go, table saw. Oh, it's not too, it's not too big. This will be good. Alright. Rotate it, maybe... Right there or something, at least for now. Quest complete. Table saw for the carpenter. Very nice. And I guess, uh, throw all your wood logs in there. Start some planks, uh, if you've got some. Alright, so we've got lots of wood going now. This'll be good. We've got the planks there. Ooh, look at that. Ornate wooden bed and 14 more at the carpenter. That is cool. So it's not just the storage that we unlocked. Ooh, refined wood block at the workbench. Nice. <coughs> Yeah, nice. so a new type of bed, plus three comfort there. Ooh, and we can do wooden crates, barrels. Oh, this is going to be so cool. So many awesome decorative items here. That we unlock cupboards, shelves that are really cool looking. Look at all that. This is awesome. A wooden bucket. <laughs> this is super cool. All right, yeah. These will these will make nice additions to the house here. That's for sure. So yeah, we'll let that go for a bit, and then what did we need to officially build that medium chest? If I go into storage here, we needed... Oh, just lots of nails, metal sheets, and planks. Alright, cool. And that'll be good, and then we'll just line this whole back wall, or at least a lot of it for now, with the medium magic chest. And that'll, uh, that'll get us by for a while. And you want the magic chests because you can build out of them. Exactly, yeah. So I've got, in the rest of the Hobbit house here, I've just got the normal little ones for like quick deposits and stuff. Same thing in the kitchens, I've just got normal chests because food, uh, you know, it doesn't matter whether it's in a magic one or not. And like for your gear chest, for where you put weapons and gear, you don't need it to be the magic chest. But for, for all the ones back here, I'm thinking, can be like the majority of the building stuff since we've got all the crafting in the basement here, so... Figured that would work. Right. And the animation here is kind of cool for the table saw. Should probably put it facing in the other direction so it's not flinging wood chips at the carpenter all the time. That's probably why he's got a patch over his eye. Alright, so the table saw has been going for a while now, and I've got quite a few planks. And I've got nails, metal sheets, everything I should need to make the chest. So we're going to start out with a medium chest, and then to make it into a medium magic chest, we need this goo along with the shroud cores. And I think the goo uh, might come from the alchemist, because we've got all this other stuff that like I haven't made yet, like the bug dust here with all the critter parts. Yeah, so making that unlocks goo, which I just need a bunch of dirt, bug dust, and shroud liquid to craft. Alright, I've made a bunch of goo now, and we now have the magic medium chest. So I think I can make four of these. Yep, those were those are the maximum medium chest that I had the materials for. 
Well, we'll just go ahead and drag those into my inventory and try to place them along this back wall here. I'm thinking I'm going to try to stack them. I could even kind of phase them back like that, but I'll well, just do like that. And yeah, we can stack them if we have X turned on for snapping, which makes it very convenient. So let's see, it looks like it doesn't really want to go on the back wall. It says it needs, uh, needs more space. But if I, uh, maybe I could even kind of stand on top of something over here or uh, create, create some stairs here. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. I can just create these. Climb up on top of them. And see if this will work to stack the next chest. Yep, there we go. Something like that. And I could put another one even on top of that. But maybe we just go three high for now. Yeah, three high feels good. That's a lot of space there for everything that we need for our building needs, which is really cool. So I'll definitely continue working on that. But with that said, it was another super fun episode. Crimson is actually off at another location over here. I'll actually fast travel over there to end up the episode here. Mind if I show him a I little mean, sneak peek of what you're working on? <laughs> sure. Is it's kind of the bare rudimentary. Yeah. You know, you're doing a, a big, going, big going cave here. mining base over here. So he stumbled across the, across this cave. It's actually by the forest cabin that I made, which is right over here. And uh, that was a shroud root location that showed up on our map after the quest from today. So we went over there to do that and uh, stumbled across this big cave over here in the mountain, which the shroud root was in. And uh, you can build in most of this cave. And so uh, Crimson placed a flame altar and is going to start working on a, a cool little cave base over here uh, on the entrance. And it's an amazing spot to go right back in here and farm a bunch of the luminous growth here for the luminescent blocks and things just because it's such a cool block and then you can go deeper down into the caves and stuff and there's just so much loot we can get critter parts luminous growth there's lots of copper lots of clay in here and things so great spot for farming and mining resources for future builds so we figured it'd be a cool spot to set up camp with that said i hope you all enjoyed today's episode huge thanks again to all of my channel members and thank you all so much we hit 10k recently, so that is super exciting. With that said, be sure to join the Discord server through the link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.